Austin. I'm Gathew Mardner. And I'm not. Our national story for tonight, Prohibition. The uh, stimulating acts of South Dakota Senator Sterling caused the Senate to pass the uh, Prohibition Bill, which would go into effect uh, at the end of this month. The bill is heading right now to the House of Representatives and will soon go on to Wilson. But don't expect any vetoes from our nation's president because it is expected, according to the New York Times, to pass through the House and go right to the president without fail. Uh, now we send it out to our field reporter, Sagwa Cho. Sagwa, can you hear me? So here we have a woman, and we will interview her on her opinions on prohibition. Not that her opinion really matters, because she's a woman. And uh, she would like to remain anonymous for reasons you shall soon see. So, what do you think about prohibition? Well, uh, I'm very for the prohibition just because all the men go drinking and when they come back they always come and they take advantage of me and it's really unpleasant drink beer and half the time they d they're not even nice they don't play the way I like it they play rough so you currently do not drink I've I mean I've I've tried a sip or two of wine, especially around the handsome chaps, but no, I don't drink. Wait, shouldn't you be in California, mining gold? What are you doing here? Excuse me, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? What? What the butt are you doing? What the bloody doing? Who, who are you? Shouldn't you be in California, mine go? Shouldn't you be in California, mine go? Alright, this is Jason. We're on the streets of uh, Boston. <laughs> 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 sir, sir, what do you think of the upcoming prohibition legislation? I think it's bloody rubbish. I... Who, who are you? I'm a news reporter for the Boston Times. You, you from Boston? Yeah. You, you're, you're not from Boston, you're from California. <laughs> <laughs> the blind man tricking me. So no, seriously, what do you think of the prohibition legislation that's being moved through Congress right now? Well, hasn't affected me, has it? <laughs> <laughs> That's because it hasn't been passed. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm just going to go back to sleep. <laughs> Do I get any money for this? What will, what will happen if the cops come and take your drink? Bloody run. <laughs> bloody run. I'm going to bloody run. I'm going to bloody run. I'm going to bloody run. <laughs> Mr. King has graciously invited us into a, his home. As you can see, his family has been friendly with the local Negro for many generations. Mr. King, hmm. do you currently frequent bars to have a little drink? Um, a little tidbit or two, just to get me in a little mood to dance a little. Um, yes, what's your next question? What do you think of the legislation that's being passed through Congress right now about pro concerning prohibition? Ah, prohibition. See, all those little young whippersnappers will not be affected, and nor will I, because I am a young whippersnapper. Uh, I don't believe I will be affected that much by it. I'll still go out and party with the youngins. Um, there's not much to say about it. I mean, they're going to try and stop it, but they will not be able to. So, you will continue to drink? Good question. Mr. King, you are not answering my question. Continue. Do you think prohibition will have morally positive benefits for the American population? Austin, are you coming up soon? Just a moment, dear. Excuse me? Ben beneficial for the population?
do you ask? Yes. Um, I'm not sure of it would be beneficial, but it will sure be good for the jitterbug. Is this interview almost over? Uh, I think it's over now. Alright, thank you. Go back to California. <laughs> Jimmy, do you, do you hear a noise over there? Yeah, I do. Let's go check it out. Sir, Who that? Sir, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's midnight. What do you mean it's midnight? I'm working. Working on what? Who are you? Boy, are you drunk? Is that alcohol I smell? Yeah, it is. What? It, what's the problem? No, I'm actually, I'm actually a reporter, and I've been working on this uh, interview. Oh, you're one of them urban boys, aren't you? Oh, I love you, skinny boys. Mm. Thank you for inviting me to your show. You're very welcome. That's that's a sudden kindness you got there. So, what do you think of the prohibition? Prohibition. I I moved to Alabama so I could get as much freedom as I could. And with this government taking all my freedom away and such and them such and, and and freedom and and freedom, I I don't I don't I don't like it. I don't. Right, will you continue drinking? I make my own gin in the basement, my shed. <laughs> Boy, of course I'm gonna keep drinking. <laughs> it's a type of silly question that. Well, thank thank you for interviewing me. I gotta go to bed before I sober up. All right, you have not not no. Okay? All right, good night. All right, good night. Hey, wait a second. So you be in California, mind go for me? Thanks, Sagwa. And now time for a word from our sponsors. <laughs> 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 Ah!